Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Simtech05. So in previous video of the CFD massing, we seen how we can use the CFD Tetram as basic options. Okay, and with the help of those basic options, we can generate boundary layer through the complete component. But as we seen one problem, let's say I'm going to show these element. Let's say here it is. Boundary layer are generated for inlet and outlet section also, but I don't want. I want to generate the boundary layer only for the walls. Okay, these are my wall regions. Only for those wall regions, I have to generate boundary layers. So let me delete these two component. Okay, one more thing that I would like to introduce. When we match this component in my previous video, I use this options. I checked on this options component per volume means we have two volume here. One is uh, uh, internal volume. Actually, both are internal volume, but one for tetra volume, one for layer volume. Okay, here we have some depth of the layer and that depth will create different volume. So I have to generate means software will generate two volumes okay so always use this option that will be very easy to make modification make uh, or, or i can say delete tetra mass and uh, boundary layer element let's say i want my original massing back you can simply go with delete options i mean to say i want to delete this tetra mass and layering so just right click and delete and your manifold original component is available with you i uh, hided the half of element just check on and go with the standard one so the problem we have like we don't want the boundary layers for inlets and outlet regions so what we can do there are two way when you go with the cfd tetra mesh instead of component use the element options and select the wall element in the fix element and or i can say with boundary layer I mean to say I want to generate actually this uh, DL options is boundary layer options. Okay. So if I select any element in this options, software will generate boundary layer for that. If I select any element in this particular options, that's mean without boundary layer options. Okay. So you have two options like you have to select the wall element and then go with the by faces options. Many times it is possible, but sometimes it is not possible. Okay. Then here without boundary layer again select the element select one one element from the each face and then go with the element by faces so these element are fixed element with boundary layer and these element are floating element without boundary layer why floating element because when the boundary layer will be generate let's say the thickness of first boundary layer is 0.5 it is coming up to here but our element node are here so what we'll do software will remass this floating elements okay without boundary layer elements so i selected this fix and floating element remaining all options as it is then go with the boundary layer parameter those options also same as per previous video then simply click on mass options you will get a beautiful result and boundary layer where you want okay here you can see the first layer thickness then second layer thickness and so on so this surface this surface floating surface okay here this was the floating surface this was the floating surface this was the floating surface this was remeshed and this fixed surface was not remeshed that is the difference second difference let's say f5 it was all let's say second difference previously we had the boundary layer for the inlet section and outlet sections also but now we have boundary layers only for the wall section okay here at the inlet and at the outlet we don't have boundary layers that is the second difference what else you can do you can do one more thing that i always recommend if you are a dedicated cfd engineer i will suggest to make a component okay this is 
extended because that we need in future also when we try to export it for fluent or open form or any other CFD solver and outlet or outflow whatever you want to say different color you can choose create that's all and this is my manifold you can make name as manifold fine or you can say wall okay now everything is in wall component but you want to organize these element in let's assume this is my outlet and these are my inlet okay so f11 oh sorry shift f11 that is organize options if you not able to find i mean to say if you're not able to remember the shortcut key shift f11 then you can go with here tool and organize options so select the element element by face this is my outflow or outlet go to move don't copy okay move so color will be automatically changed make sure you are in the by component options if you are in by part options then something different color you will get according to the part and here it is the part part com color so part is different thing by component and again select one element from each face go to selection method by face and then go with the collector destination component and move so now we have inlet outlet and that is my wall component now go with the 3d mesh options cfd tetra instead of element now you can go with the component okay with boundary layer this component is with boundary layer and these two component are without boundary layer these are only two component not the four component because all element of inlet are in the same folder same component let's change the boundary layer parameter instead of five i want four First layer thickness is 0.7 and growth rate is 1.1. Okay, so the remassing effect will be appear to you. Now click on mess. That's all. Yes, remassing has done and two components are created. let's say these are the boundary elements okay now again one question still remains uh, if you don't want this penta element here instead you want the hexahedral element on the boundary layer what we can do if you have geometry then you can remass it very easily but if you have stl file like we imported earlier what you can do you can still make change hypermass provide this beautiful remassing options automass panel is very powerful tool go to 2d mass and automass panel or simply press f12 button from the keyboard here by default we are using this surface options okay that is for massing and if you switch from surface to element that is for remassing select the all element mix type of element size what almost size we have for this reason let's say check f4 then select the distance between these two nodes 1.8 around 2 so let me define element size 2 and make sure you utilize this options element 2 see instead of current component element 2 original component let's say these element are belongs to outlet then the after remassing new element also will be in the outlet component so that is again important feature now click on mass so something this beautiful massing you will get if you are not satisfied with this massing you can go with the changes okay so for sake of simplicity i am going to rebuild those elements element edit criteria yeah if you want to know more about this criteria things and every uh, options I am using here you can go with my previous videos so 2 is my size 0 0.5 is my minimum size and 4 is my maximum size that's all remaining all options I am accepting as it is apply ok and click on rebuild 
So rebuild algorithm is very precise and accurate algorithm from the hypermens. It will make your machine more accurate and precise within the criteria range. So just wait a few seconds. Yes. So matching is uh, now updated and as compared to previous one, very beautiful mass you have. So of course you can rebuild from here also, from here also you can uh, rebuild it, but uh, I'm not going to rebuild it again. Let's say 3D CFD tetra mass and uh, again boundary layer parameter fix, which is the fix? This one is fixed. I don't want to rematch this component. Why? Because I want here the boundary layers. Due to the squad element, the hexahedral element will be created in my boundary layer. And these are my floating component and I'm allowing remassing. Okay. For this floating component or we can say the component which don't have boundary layer. So now we have boundary layer parameters. Let's say again 5 and 0 0.5 and growth rate of 1.2 I'm using remaining parameters as it is and let's say mass just wait for a second and yeah mass is done ah, this this error we have why I don't know but we can eliminate such error. We can eliminate such error. Go to reject. No. Fix component. Then we have floating component. Remains options I'm using. Boundary layer parameter, CFD, TED collapse, everything is right, but why? You can change the algorithm from standard to let's say interpolate, go to mesh. This generally not happened. No, I don't know why it is appearing such. Of course, these algorithms are having some different uh, criteria. So, means different criteria means different. Uh, way of massing okay and based on that based on that we have different tetra mass so for sake of simplicity i just change the algorithm and let's say this is my boundary layer parameter okay so now instead of quad element oh uh, sorry instead of penta element i am getting here hexahedral element on the boundary that is beauty of the command likewise okay these are the boundary layer element let me change the color okay so that's all for this video tutorial and in next video we will see how we can export it for the open form software then again we will go with some advanced options so thank you for listening